JPN Daily English News Service brought to you by our campus network today, Friday, 11th of November 2016. I am your host, Sajid Jalal. Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. APN News headlines are as follows Myanmar, eight curbs hit children in Muslim majority region, UN. Burmese Navy detains six nationals of Bangladesh. Now, in depth, in depth story. Tens of thousands of people have been cut off from food and other aid creators. Unrest in Myanmar's northwest is taking a terrible toll on children. The UN Children's Agency, UNICEF, set and called for full humanitarian access to the Muslim majority, not of Rakhine State. Tens of thousands of people have been cut off from food and other aid normally provided by international agencies since deadly attack on police guard posts along the border with Bangladesh on October 9. While some aid has been delivered in recent days, UNICEF calls for full resumption of essential services and the urgent lifting of all restriction of movement of health and other professionals so they can safely reach children and families, UNICEF said in a statement from New York on Tuesday. Troops have poured into the region in response to the attacks in which asylum believed to be from the mostly stateless Rohingya group killed nine policemen. The army declared the area an operation zone block aid and barred foreign journalists and observers from the Mount area. Resident and human rights monitors say extrajudicial killing, rape and arbitrary arrests have been taking place. Security forces have been have killed at three alleged attackers, while five soldiers and one attackers have been killed, according to state-run media. On Tuesday, the World Food Program WFP said it had begun the first deliveries of food aid in Mangdo in more than a month, reaching about 6,500 people in four villages affected by the violence. WFP said its assistance would normally wish 152,000 people in northern Rakhine. The majority in area are Rohingya Muslim, a 1.1 million strong group in Rakhine who face restriction on in Rakhine state on the movement and access to services. The malnutrition rate is 19% among children under 5 in Mangdo, according to the UN statistic. The limited access came after a request from diplomat and the UN's top official in Myanmar who visited Mangdo over two days last week. The delegation called for an independent investigation into alleged right abuses and for aid programs to be allowed to resume. UN official and diplomat from Western countries privately expect concern at the public response to the crisis from the government of Nobel laureate Aung San Suu Kyi, which has flatly denied allegation of abuses community by the military. Straight-run newspaper has said last week visit by diplomat who stressed they were not able to verify claim of right abuses revealed that the allegations were baseless. A key official of spokesman singled out his journalists reporting allegation and said the claims were concocted by people with links to insurgents. Burmese naval forces arrested six nationals of Bangladesh while fishing inside the Bangladesh water of Bay of Bengal on 9 November 2016 at around 10 a.m. According to rival sources, a Burmese naval chief always kept, kept on duty inside Burmese water territory since the violent attack on Burmese border guard police forces by unidentified arms assailant on last 9 October. Today at around 10 a.m. a patrol party of naval forces in a speedboat and crashed into the Bangladesh nautical territory and pulled away the fishing boat along with the six fishermen. The six Bangladeshi nationals had been detained for 24 hours since 9 November in the Burmese naval ship inside Burmese water territory close to Lethang of Mangda South. Later, the police forces were informed of the arrest of six Bangladeshi nationals from the sea while fishing. Today, at about 5 p.m. on information, a group of police jointly with army members in three vehicles came from Mangdo Township to Lithangjo and again went to the Burmese Navy by an engine boat where the Bangladeshi nationals were detained. The victims were handed over to the police and army by naval forces and were brought on the land of Lithangjo. After the land of Alethangjo 
After the victim had been brought on the land, they were assaulted inhumanly by the police, according to eyewitness. The victims were put in the vehicle, fastening firmly with iron chain, like tied up elephant, and taken to the Mangdor police station. The fishermen were also tortured severely by naval forces while they were in the ship. The engine boat, along with the nets of the Bangladesh ship fishermen, were seized and across at the Harbor of Alentangjo, sources said more. This is for today from APN English News Service. Thank you for watching. Stay tuned. Please share on Facebook and subscribe, subscribe up on YouTube. Thank you. Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.